tell me what's going on, my friend. I start the car up. I'm getting um, all kinds of malfunctions. Uh, yeah, a whole list of them, maybe 10 or, 10 or more of uh, different malfunctions. It runs and drives, but yeah, even the, yeah, all kinds of malfunctions, headlights, pre-collision system, and you name it, it's uh, just about everything you can think of. Um, so, yeah, I didn't know uh, where to start looking. So what you're going to want to do is start by checking the fuses? Yeah, I I did, did that. Okay, so if the fuses are good, then I would recommend that you make sure that the, the battery passes a load test and you want to make sure the alternator isn't under or overcharging. And if all that checks out good, then somebody needs to plug into the computer system using a compatible scan tool to check for codes and communication in all of the modules, all the computers on board the vehicle. You could start by using a basic code reader and checking the engine control module for codes and communication. That would be a good place to start. Okay. Can I buy a scanner? Or a yes, you can. PET scanner? Yep. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, you can okay. actually, you can get one on Amazon. You can just order one on Amazon and have it delivered right to your door. So you don't need, you know, to check the engine control module, you don't need a, you know, an expensive scanner. You just need a basic code reader. So you can get one on Amazon for 20, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I do have an appointment. Uh, do somebody to plug it in and check it out. But it's in a couple, you know, almost two weeks. I just saw it. I got the time. Maybe I'll see if I can figure it out. Yeah. Uh, so when you check the battery so, voltage, if you have a voltmeter, if you don't have one, you can get one for really cheap. If you, you know, once you. Yeah, once you... I do. I do have a okay. voltmeter accident. I had my battery charger on and it charged up to 100%. So I figure the battery's good. Well, keep in mind, uh, so the battery charge and a battery you know getting load tested those are two different things just because it's charged doesn't okay. mean, mean that the battery is good okay so i should check make sure i have 12 volts well yeah you need to load test it and then if that checks out good you could still use the the, the voltmeter to check the charging system voltage when the engine's running you're going to want to see it at, at about you know 14 volts 14, or so 14 volts okay. yes sir but um, yeah, you're saying that actually check the battery. It would be need, need to be load tested. Yeah, I don't I don't have a tester for that. Um, but I had disconnected the battery. See if that resets something. But that didn't didn't seem to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So, how long has this been going on? Well, I just bought bought the car. Uh, from Copart, yeah, I knew it had issues. It was showing showing a malfunction on the screen on the pictures, but I didn't know it's going to have that many malfunctions. But it might all be related to one problem. Who knows? Uh, right. So, yeah, I guess I could probably take the battery out and get it. Go get it checked. Make sure we have a uh, good battery. I guess you you could do that. And as a technician, I I, I would just you know just load test it just to be sure. It doesn't sound like the battery is the problem. It sounds like we have okay. either a blown fuse or you know um, multiple codes stored in the computer. Maybe a communication issue with one or one or more of the computers on board the vehicle. Okay. But the only way to know for so sure check, would be to check the. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure if I check, check all the fuses. Maybe I should should check all of them. Make sure. Yes, sir. Um, 
one thing I found uh, on the small small fuse box where it has just two fuses in and one relay, um, it said uh, VVT relay, and that relay wasn't plugged in where there was even connections for it. And right beside it, there was a connection for a relay. So I thought maybe that's where that's where it belongs. Right. Uh, but that didn't seem to make a difference. Uh, VVT, I guess, stands for variable valve timing. Is that correct? EVT? Uh, VVT. Yes. Um, yeah, the VVT, the variable valve timing system. That is correct. So there should be... Uh, a relay in that in that spot and probably so you're saying it was missing well it was off to the side of that spot where there was even no electrical connections for a relay i was an empty spot but well the last i checked the vvt system uh, i don't i just can't remember off the top of my head that a vvt system would use a, a relay why would it use a relay That's what that spot says on the lid. Yeah, but I've never, I've never. Yeah. So what would it? It says for a relay. Yeah, I gotcha. And it says VVT. So oh, I here it is. I, you know what? You're right. I do, I do see it in the diagram. So there's a VVT fuse and there's a VVT relay. But do you think somebody just walked up and pulled it out? Well, yeah, I didn't know if somebody pulled it out and put it in the wrong spot. Or... Okay. Was yeah, any... You never know with these with these vehicles that you buy from Copart. You almost wonder if somebody mess, mess with them and just pass them on to the insurance company just so they can have another vehicle or something. I had a case already where I bought a vehicle and disconnected the battery and reconnected it and everything was fine. Yeah. So, well, let me ask you this. So, was there any work done to the vehicle recently? I do not know that. How long have you had it? Well, I just I just got it here a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. All right. I gotcha. So, so yeah, it, run, it runs and drives, but it uh, cycles all kinds of um, mm -hmm. uh, functions. Keeps cycling through the screen and the dash. Okay. And yeah, the, even the RPM needle is not working. And I also think the temperature gauge is not working. Um, yeah, it seems to, you can drive it, you can, it seems to run fine and I can drive it. Um, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to need to get it diagnosed somehow. <clears throat> yes, sir. Would you like me to connect you okay. with, a, with a mobile mechanic or a shop in your area? Would that help out? No, that's fine. I, okay. I have, a, have a guy that has me on his schedule, and he, he claims he can probably do as good as a Toyota dealer can. So I guess I'll just wait. Wait for him if I don't get it, get anything figured out. Right, and he'll probably probably be able to do it to fix it for a lot cheaper than the Toyota dealership as well. Uh, yeah, that's why I figure they're pretty good. Okay. So, any other questions while we're on the phone, my friend? Um, guess not. Well, thanks, thanks for your, thanks for your help. All right, um, it sounds good. If anything comes up, you can just reply back online. I'll be happy to help. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.